everyone, my name is Mike. I'm with Glenside Fire Company, and today we're gonna to go over the MSA Altair 5X multi-gas meter. So, this meter is called a multi-gas or a five-gas meter because it has five different sensors on it. And those sensors are an LEL sensor. LEL stands for lower explosive limit. So that's a combustible gas indicator that will show us what percentage of the way we are to the lower explosive limit for methane. It can also detect other combustible gases like propane or toluene or what have you, but it will always show the, lower, the percentage of the lower explosive limit for methane. If you're dealing with something other than natural gas, which is primarily methane, then you'll need to apply a conversion factor to get the true LEL reading. The second sensor on here that we really care about is CO, carbon monoxide. If you recall, carbon monoxide is uh, the result of incomplete combustion of a hydrocarbon. That could be gasoline in the engine of a car. It could be natural gas from someone's hot water heater, what have you. That CO is a chemical asphyxiant, right? So we want to uh, be able to detect it in low amounts before it starts to affect, affect people. Uh, the third sensor on here is uh, going to be H2S, that's hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is both a flammable and a toxic gas that is produced in, it's produced by bacterial action in low oxygen anaerobic environments. So places like sewers or swampy areas, it's going to smell like rotten eggs. And we want to have this meter available if we're dealing in, uh, with something in those environments because uh, we don't want to inhale hydrogen sulfide. Uh, that is a toxic to our system, and it can result in severe cases uh, in something like an acute pulmonary edema where your lungs would fill up with fluid. So that, that's not a good situation, so you wanna, you wanna carry this with you if you're gonna do things like pop manholes or something like that. The fourth gas that this can sense is hydrogen cyanide, HCN. That is another very toxic gas. It is IDLH at 50 parts per million. So we're gonna encounter hydrogen cyanide, say during the overhaul phase of a fire where uh, something like a synthetic or a plastic has burned. It might be in the atmosphere. You're gonna to wanna to carry this with you to make sure uh, that you don't have that in your atmosphere while you're performing overhaul. And uh, the final gas on here is gonna be oxygen, the percentage of oxygen in the ambient air. Right, which under normal conditions should, should be about 20.8%. Uh, so the way you turn this on is just uh, press and hold this center button right here. And it's gonna go through somewhat lengthy startup process. Uh, one of the first thing that's, that is gonna happen is that the little pump in here that draws in the gas sample is gonna ask you to block it so that it can check to see that the pump is running properly. So in just a second here, you will see it start beeping and asking me to block the pump. That pump is located, this little silver tube right here is that pump. So here it's saying pump test, block sampling port. So I'm gonna just hold a finger over it until it says test passed. And then it's going to run through the rest of its self checks and start. Okay, so here's what your screen is gonna look like when it's up and running. Up in the upper left corner here, that's your percentage of the LEL for methane. Then we have our CO in parts per million. Our hydrogen cyanide, that's the HCN, in parts per million. Here in the upper right, we have our percentage of oxygen in the ambient air, 20.8. And over to the right, we have our hydrogen sulfide in parts per million. All right, so this screen right here that you see, that's, that's sort of normal ambient air that we would want to see. Um, the alarm, the low alarm for LEL, that's going to start chirping at you at 10% of the LEL for methane. The LEL for methane is 5% by volume of the air. So when this alarm goes off and it's showing 10% low alarm for LEL, you are only 10% of the way to a flammable or combustible atmosphere. So there's no need to panic, it's just warning you that you're starting to approach a combustible atmosphere. Okay, so when we're using a meter like this, 
Uh, we want to give the sensors in this meter the time to respond. So we need to, we need to give the pump time to draw in the gas, and then there are chemical or electrical reactions that occur in here that take a little bit of time, usually 10 or 15 seconds. So for the LEL sensor, uh, wait a good 10 seconds for a, read, a good reading to occur. And for the CO sensor, I want you to wait 15 seconds for this to get an accurate reading. Remember that both CO and methane, which is the primary component of natural gas, are lighter than air. So they are gonna tend to rise, um, especially natural gas, that's about half the density of air. So when you are metering a room, move slowly and monitor all levels. Start down here and slowly bring it up. And don't forget for those lighter than air gases to move it up above your head. And again, 10 to 15 seconds in every space where you want an accurate reading. One final thought, we don't calibrate these. These are calibrated by the MSA technical rep. They're calibrated using uh, gases with known concentrations. So uh, when you turn it on and it says fresh air setup, I encourage you to press the up button on the right that says no, okay? Um, also, don't turn it on in close proximity to the truck's exhaust or any other source of gas emissions. Uh, take it outside the truck, outside the residence, and turn it on uh, in just normal ambient air. And if you see something out of calibration, be sure to tell an officer. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me or ask one of the officers. Thanks for listening.